Hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving you a um, an update on my player import, uh, showing you the workshop in particular. So I chose to do this upgrade just to basically see what what's going on, uh, just to see if you actually get a bank, if um, what kind of um, things you can do in the workshop because it's quite interesting for me. Uh, so what you need for this this uh, to be able to get this is you need to have unlocked the third region, which is the hook. You need to also have uh, 500 slates available to you, and you also need a uh, 2,000 bamboo. So this is in order to upgrade your building to a uh, workshop. So uh, usually this building will be completely empty, but now uh, once you've upgraded it, you will get all the stuff. So yeah, so I'll just go through it right now. Let's do it. Okay. So the the first thing that you can see is that you have an anvil. This is used to make the melee plate body, uh, legs and uh, helmet. So in order, um, you can make the tradable and the untradable version. Uh, the difference between the tradable and the untradable is the amount of supplies it takes to make them. So for example, uh, the superior Tetsu plate body takes 100 plates, whereas the tradable version uh, takes 80 plates, as you can see. So the cost to make the tradable version is uh, about 20% less in general, and this goes for all the different armor. So for for melee, it takes um, uh, the trade good plate. Uh, then once you get over to the crafting bench, you will notice that you can make magic armor and range armor, tradable and untradable versions. Now to make the uh, magic armor requires chi, so you're going to need the same kind of resources. Uh, as you did for the 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 melee equivalent, uh, the same amount, not the same resource. So this requires chi, and uh, the range armor requires liqueur, or however you say that. I don't know. But yeah. So the level requirements to make these pieces of armor is level 90. So this goes for pretty much everything in player imports, uh, except for the scrimshaws. Now the scrimshaws have a different requirement. So as you can see, the level requirement for this p specific uh, scrimshaw is 85, where, whereas uh, something like this is level 95, and it kind of varies depending on which scrimshaw you actually decide to make. So, like, yeah. So, uh, all scrimshaws require 10, 10 ancient bones, so even if you make the tradable or untradable versions, uh, it's always going to require 10. 10 ancient bones. Uh, it should be noted that uh, all the items in uh, player imports, apart from the rock tail soup, all have a d degrade um, timer. So, so like the uh, tradable versions, uh, the scrimshaws at least, uh, they have a degrade uh, of three hours. Actually, it depends on which one it is, but uh, in general, they have three to four hours. And uh, once they run out, the tradable versions, they degrade to nothing. Uh, whereas the untradable versions, they degrade, but you can repair them. So this is the same for the armor. Uh, the armor, it degrades, uh, the tradable version degrades after 10 hours, and it goes to nothing. So it will be destroyed once you've used it for 10 hours. Uh, whereas the untradable version, it lasts for 12 hours, uh, and it degrades fully, and then uh, you can repair it. So, yeah. Uh, the cost to repair it, I heard, was around 300,000. I'm not sure if that's including the 50% reduction if you do it in your own house, but yeah, so that's it. Um, so yeah, so I've shown you that, that, that. Uh, let me show you this quickly. So this is the cooking station. Uh, you'll notice that uh, you need to bring your own supplies for this. Uh, you need to have a rock towel and you need to have a spice uh, as a trade good which you get from doing voyages so so yeah also for all these different things you're going to need four pieces of your scroll so so yeah before you can make anything you need those scroll pieces uh, so then I'll show you the bank so this is the bank it's just a normal bank uh, just like any runescape bank you see around uh, runescape it's not a deposit box don't worry it's an actual bank you can do stuff so yeah so that's it guys um, Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like rating uh, and yeah. So thank you for watching and goodbye.